<laughs> Let's talk about it, baby. What's up, everybody? It's Bombshell9. You know we back with another bomb video. If you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. And of course, if you're not new, you already know you're a part of that bomb crew. So to join the bomb crew, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can be a part of the bomb crew. Cause that's my bomb crew. That's my bomb crew. That's my bomb crew. A bomb crew. A bomb crew. That's my bomb crew. A bomb crew. A bomb crew. That's my bomb crew. A bomb crew. A bomb crew. I love that song, like, I, that's, that's it. Come on now, who you know doing that? Who you know? Okay, but <laughs> if you're right by the title, you already know today we're gonna be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. And we're just gonna be talking about reaching your higher self, stepping into new journeys in your life, and just not being afraid to do it. So I'm ready and I'm excited to talk about this. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First thing I wanna talk about is, you know, just finding the joy in where you are in your life and just, you know, being okay with that and just finding something to cling on to and, you know, to be happy about. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the times I feel like, you know, we look at our situations and we don't look at the good that's happening around us. You know, we don't look at, we don't look at what God is keeping us through. And I feel like, you know, sometimes it is hard. You know, I'm not gonna sit up here and say that, oh, it's the easiest thing just to look at the good and not, you know, care about the bad because it's not true like there I'm I I am the first one to say that I had battled with mental health I had been depressed you know I am human I do go through those emotions and mental health is a real thing but just in this new area of my life oh my gosh I'm just really I'm just really channeling like being thankful for where I am and just being present for where I am. Like every day I get up and a lot of things, we take them for granted, you know, like necessities such as, necessities such as like breathing or just freaking waking up and it's a beautiful day outside. Like, Everybody doesn't get to experience that. Everyone doesn't get to wake up and breathe. Everyone doesn't have the opportunity to attack the day. And, you know, everyone doesn't have a peace of mind when they wake up. You know what I mean? Like, that is something that really gets me emotional. But I'm going to try to not be sensitive. But that's something that really gets me emotional. Like, just waking up and, like, having a peace of mind like oh my gosh like just to be able to go through the day and not have to contemplate you know negative thoughts or anything like having that that can really take you a long way you know so those of you that are struggling with some areas of your life i challenge you to just start like start looking at the little things that we're taking for granted like waking up and being thankful you know that you woke up in a house with air conditioning on like because everybody don't have that or just being thankful that you even woke up in a house that you get to call yours you know because some people woke up today on side of the street or some people woke up today on the sidewalk and you know just being thankful for that, you know, being thankful that you have something in your refrigerator that you get to eat, you know, because some people don't know where their next meal is coming from by no means, you know? So just really channeling, you know, those things I feel can really take you a long way and just help your day just improve that much more. So please from this point on like i challenge you if you can even just do it once a week once a week be thankful for something that we oftentimes look over because for me you know i've been through a whirlwind of things lately um 
like in the past 365 days I lost two close family members and you know I just been in a transitioning area in my life and I just been feeling so stagnant and there have been so many times I have cried so many times I have just wanted to you know just throw in the towel and just stop you know there's been times that I've been depressed and I just felt it easier to just sit and and sulk in my misery and but I've realized that there are bigger things out there going on and there are things that I still have within reach that I can be happy about and that's what I've been focusing on and the more that you focus on those positive things the more that those positive things grow in your life. You know what I mean? Like some people oftentimes say that like the grass is greener on the other side or the sun and the third. I often feel that the grass is green where you water it, right? So if you're watering those negative thoughts and you're watering that, oh, I hate this or I don't like this or I don't like that, that's what's gonna grow. <laughs> sadly but it took me a long time to really realize that but that is the truth you know those negative things are gonna grow and here I go I'm getting emotional but I mean you know it's it's true like for a long time I watered those negative things and I just knew that I wasn't gonna get out of that you know, that things, you know, weren't gonna get better, but they did, they really did when I started focusing on the positive things. So, I say that to say, we have a treasure chest full of things that are just ready to be watered and be unlocked and to grow, but you have to look at them, hold on to them, and begin to wear them with happiness and positivity because that's something that is contagious and it does grow. And I can just say that I'm at a point in my life where I'm not gonna sit up here and say, I'm this perfect person, I'm not negative no more, you know, because there are times where I find myself like, oh my gosh, you know, everyday stuff, like why are they taking so long or I wanted to do, or I wanted to get here at this time. I do still find myself on that because I'm not perfect, but I've really been intentional about my days and I've really been intentional about starting my day on a positive note where I'm watering positive things because that contributes to the positive things that go forth for the rest of my day. I don't know, you guys, I mean, let me know what you think. Let me know what you do to feel more positive throughout the day, you know, or what you would like some insight on to, you know, to be more positive. Because it's so cliche, but life is honestly what you make it. And, you know, that can mean a bunch of things, but it's the truth. Your life is what you make it. It's what you make it. But pause for a second while I blend this out. So just take a moment and I want y'all to stop right now in this video as we get ready to go through this music for a second and take a second and just realize what you're thankful for today and just really think about those things that we oftentimes take for granted. Take a time, think about that right now and just be thankful for that while you listen to this music. to the next topic of business 
not being scared to change oh my gosh this is such a heavy topic for me you know because for a long time for a long time i really had to find myself honestly like i really had to find like what makes me happy you know what i mean what makes me happy what makes me go what fuels me you know not you know what fuels me as me and my family you know because i feel like you know oftentimes we have different versions of ourselves you know like we have the version of ourselves that's us with our families we have the versions of ourselves that's us with our friends we have the version of ourselves that is us with our significant other if we have one and then you have yourself, just you. No outside people, no one else, just you. And I feel like first you have to start with what really makes you go? Like what really fuels you? What really makes you happy? That's what really, really starts the whole fire of just changing and just really evolutionalizing 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 I think I just <laughs> I think I just made a word up but we're gonna go with it evolutionalizing like stepping into your higher self good so yeah like just stepping into your higher self and just really making sure that you know you're taking time to do things that you love to do that fuel you you know those things that just after you do it you just feel happy like you're ready to go like you ready to mingle like you ready to be outside we outside no but for real like those things that fuel you and make you feel like you can just take on the world after that like just finding those things that will always 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 help you get a step further and where you want to be in your life like for me for example honestly it's not much i'm a very minimal person when it comes to just pleasing me but i love to paint and i don't do it enough but i love to paint i love to see images just come together through my creativity and my hands and it's just so beautiful and melancholy and just so soft and i love it i love it so much so like that's something that like after i do it i'm just like oh like wow like i'm ready to like i'm ready to go out i'm ready to go in a few stores that's something that speaks to me and it speaks to my soul and it's important that we differentiate what speaks to you as you versus what speaks to you and coexistence to other people. You know, like not what speaks to you when you're with your family or not what speaks to you when you're with your friends or not what speaks to you when you're with your significant other, but what speaks to you when you're just with you. Hmm. That's a gem. And that's what really matters. And that's what I've really been doing and it's just allowed me to be a lot more positive and just a lot more self-motivated and just filled with a lot more energy on my day to day. Oh my goodness, like it's, it's really an amazing, amazing thing. Amazing, amazing thing. So yeah, guys, I mean like just finding those things that like fuel you that fuel your authentic self like i'm telling you doing that will make a world of difference 
just with your motivation and your ability to go through your day to day because at the end of the day, we need to be charged. You know what I mean? Just like your phone can't last for, for three, four, five years without being charged, can it? No, when it dies, it's gonna stay dead. Everything that we have in life needs to be charged. It's plugged in. Everything is plugged in. Your refrigerator, it's plugged in. Microwave, plugged in. Your car, has to get gas, or plugged in. If you got a test seat, you got that test seat, yeah, you got me plugged in. But everything that we have has to be plugged in. So why are we not plugging in ourselves? Why are we just expecting ourselves to be robots and just keep going just because we wake up every day? No, that's not how it works. You have to fuel yourself. You have to charge yourself. And that starts with doing things that is authentic to you. Please, look at me. Look at me. Powder and all. Start doing things that are authentic to you. Please. I love you. Okay, I want us to all just be positive and just move in that shimmy, 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 yeah, yeah. Geechee, geechee, yeah, yeah, hey. Like, I want us to all move in a happy way. Like, and the only way we can do that is by starting to do things that fuel us. But, um, another thing that I wanted to speak on for things that fuel me is God, God, yes, God, oh my gosh, I could go on for days talking about him. God, God fuels me in ways that I never even could have imagined. I mean, he has really showed me love. He has really showed me patience. He has really showed me, oh my goodness, what it is like to just be loved and just have someone that is there all the time. Just, just that peaceful spirit. Oh my gosh, like, I don't want nothing else now but peace. And you know, just to continue to get closer with him. Like I said, I've been through a lot in the last year. I've been through so much. And one thing that I can say that has kept me is God. God has really kept me this whole way. Oh my goodness, I've been tapping into my study Bible. I've been studying and just seeing the different things that he did, you know. It leaves me speechless often, oftentimes. A lot of times I am left speechless because wow, what an incredible, I mean, incredible man. Incredible man and just the way that he just continues to show up for me every day despite my shortcomings, despite the things that I oftentimes may do. He continues to show up every day for me, every single day. And really just reading the Bible has really helped me, really helped me out a whole lot. And I, 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 I just thank him. So every day I start my day off, I start off with car prayers. I like to pray in the car because I just feel like there's no distractions. You know, it's just me and God and the four doors in my car. I turn my music down, I pray out loud, and first thing that I always do is I just thank him. I thank him for all those things that we oftentimes, like I said, overlook. I thank him for those things and it just helps center me and focus me. And it's just amazing, amazing. And again, like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm still going through the day-to-days. I'm still trying to, you know, figure myself out, you know, but just having that, having God as my foundation 
has just changed me drastically in the past couple of weeks and I'm just excited to really take y'all on that journey with me and I'm hoping that y'all are just as excited as I am but makeup is done Makeup is done. Makeup is done. Makeup is done. Come on now. As you know that I always say, what's the motto? Blend it in till it look like him. Blend it in till it look like Blend it in. Until it looks like skin. Blend it in till it looks like skin. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and we're gonna get dry. A few moments later. Okay, everyone, so this is the final look. Yes, it's time to go out and enjoy that weather. But I paired this with a Louis Vuitton bag and it's just a Zara silk shirt and some Forever 21 shorts that I will link down below. But until next time, see ya.